Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool event video display. I don't really know the actual term of what it's called, but you know when you're at an event sometimes and there's like a video playing in the background and it's just kind of like looping and they usually maybe have a logo or the name of the event, something like that. That's what I'm going to show you how to create. And in this particular case, this was one for my dad's 70th birthday. We had a really big party for him at an event space and there was this huge projector and we wanted to have this video displaying on loop the entire night. So this is what it looked like. There's no sound or anything to it. It's a cool disco ball, you know, going around. This, this party was a disco theme, that's why it's like that. And it just went all around and it looked great in the event space. And it just plays on loop over and over again for the entire night. So let me show you how to make something like this because it doesn't just have to be for a birthday. It can be, you know, a company party, a logo, a photo. You know, this had text here, however you want it to be. This one in particular, I made it to be 16 minutes long. And then when we were playing it on the projector, we just put it on rotate on loop so that it would just continue just playing throughout the whole night and it did and it looked really great. So here's how I made this. First thing is you need some cool stock footage and the stock footage place that I like to go is Storyblocks. So they have, this is copyright free. You do have to pay for a subscription, but it's copyright free. People film stuff, they put it on here and then you pay a subscription and you can use it for free. If you are a YouTuber, if you have a business that requires video like ours, then it's in your best interest to have a subscription to a website like this. And I've been using Storyblocks for years. I love it and I do recommend it. This was the disco ball footage that I landed on that I really liked. I went through a lot of them and as you can scroll down here, you can see they have all different kinds. Um, I didn't want one that was just spinning just like that. Uh, I, I didn't want, I didn't like this angle. And so I went through and I, I found this one, which I thought it had dynamic range. I liked how, you know, there's some light that comes in and then it's, you know, the shading and all that. So I, I really liked this movement of the disco ball. I wasn't particularly fond of the blue color that's on it, but as you can see, when we go back, it's purple. So you can actually change the tint of it. So I downloaded the footage, I uploaded it to my media bin, right? When you go to import media, downloaded it from the site, uploaded it to Camtasia, placed it here on the timeline, and then how we changed the color is we added a color tint. So if I turn this off, you can see that it becomes a very intense like blue and that wasn't the color theme of the party. So the color theme of the party was like, purple and all these kinds of colors going on. It wasn't that kind of blue. So that's why it looks like we were able to add this color tint on the footage to change the color of it. And so how you add it is you click on it, head over to modify, go to add effect, visual effects, and then color tint. And then so this came up here and you can play with the light and the dark tones to get to the color that you want. So I will X out of this and have it be original, right? Cause see, look how like much, how much more darker it is compared to this one, right? Let's go and add the color tint. So I'm gonna go modify, add effect, visual effects, color tint, right? And originally it did come up as this, but I wanted to modify it just a little bit and I think I went down to a little bit more pink color and you just want to play around with it right you can play around let's say we want to go completely off right and we want it to be more of a green thing happening so you can change the light tone and then you'd have to go to the dark tone as well if you wanted more of a green um, I didn't want it to be that that harsh so that's why we added the colors that we did and this one's a little bit darker but what you can do is lower down the intensity of it 
and you can desaturate it just a little bit. You can play around with it however you want it to look. If you don't like it, you can click this uh, backwards arrow here, which reverts back to the original state. And then this one right here was how we got it. So once you have your stock footage looking the way that you want, then you wanna duplicate it because likely your footage is not gonna be the length that you want it to be. Usually stock footage is very short. And in this case, this one was only like 15 seconds, right? And so I want this playing like the whole entire night. So that's why I just made it go to 16 minutes. You can make it go as long or as short as you want it, but also be aware that obviously the, the longer you make it, the longer the rendering time. So this actually did take a, a, a good amount of time to render because it was a 16 minute thing with like, you know, all these transitions and the stock footage and stuff. So be aware of that. So once you have the color that you want, then you wanna to start to duplicate things. Now you'll see that there is a very specific way as I'm as how I'm placing this, right? It's not one after the other. There's like one here, one here, one here, one here, basically up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's a reason for that. It's not just because it looks cool. It's because it allows for a seamless transition. If I were to take this and do it as original, so I will do this as how, you know, the general public would do it. I will remove this and I will remove this and I will remove this and place this in here. This is what most people would do. And let's press play and see how it would go. It'd be very chunky, right? It'd be very, it's this and then it goes to that, right? And it's very obvious that that was a cut, right? A cut from one clip to another. But I'm all about making it smooth, seamless, like it's a continuous video, right? So that's why initially you want to have it overlap. Now, and if you do this, because some people might do this and say, okay, well, let me, let me overlap this. But if it, it won't still look as good they'll still look choppy. So if you have this, it'll still do the same thing. That's where you need the transitions. So in the transitions, the one that I like and that I've already favorited is the fade. So it, it fades seamlessly from one clip to the other, not fade through black because we don't want a black fade because then it'll be obvious that we're switching over. So I went fade and then I had, I put one here and I go fade, I put one here. So they are fading over top of each other and I'll play it again. And you'll see it's much more seamless and like people don't even really notice it. So I put fade and then I put fade and then it becomes a seamless transition, right? Much more smoother, less harsh. And so once I did that for the first two, I basically copied it and then I pasted them. And I just continued copying and pasting, copying and pasting, copying, pasting, until I got to the length that I wanted to. Last thing here is the text. Now, this can be like a logo, a picture, text. Uh, I specifically wanted text because, you know, I wanted something playing in the background. This was my dad's 70th birthday, so I wanted this, you know, to be in the background. You know, if we didn't have it, then it would still look cool, right? But I, you know, I wanted it to be branded as the, you know, happy birthday to my dad. If you are having text, you want to make sure to choose a thick text because especially if it is going on a projector screen, I wanted to choose a, a font that has a little bit of a, like a 3D effect. So this font is called KG Summer. And it's one of my favorite fonts. As you can see, it does look like it has like a 3D effect going on. And even with these, you know, the cross hatching here, you can see the background through it, which is what I like. And so, like I said, you wanna make this font really big. And, you know, I placed it, I, I liked it like this, have it go across the screen. You can place it however you'd like. 
you know, everything, every choice you make here is a stylistic choice, whatever you think looks good. I thought that this looked good. And another thing that I added with the small details is um, a shadow on the text. So if I turn off the shadow, you can see it's like this, it's more flat. But if you add the shadow, it seems like it's, you know, it, it has a little bit more of a dynamic range. It looks a little bit more like it's popping out. And it's the small details that, that make the entire look of the video. So again, the drop shadow is in my favorites right here. You can find it in the visual effects tab. If you don't see it here, click the more tab, head to visual effects, and then you'll see the drop shadow. The drop shadow, you know, definitely made it look really cool and it made the text stand out. And so I just made that text and I extended it for the entire duration of the video, which was like 16 minutes, 30 seconds. And then that just went on top and then just this whole thing just plays and plays throughout the entire event. And so that's how you make a really cool event video that can be displayed at your party, at your event, in a continuous motion. Hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. And if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend taking my Camtasia course. It's nine plus hours of just all Camtasia. And if you want to get really good at it, I highly recommend taking my course. Link for that will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.